All right, let's start with the big story that we are tracking on beyond this morning, where the political crisis in Sri Lanka has actually deepened. The President Matripala Sirisena, in a surprise move, has dissolved the parliament, paving way for snap polls on the 5th of January, which is nearly about two years ahead of the term of the House. Now, the ousted Prime Minister, Ranul Vikramasinghe's party, has called the move as unconstitutional and has vowed to oppose the dissolution of the parliament, saying that it actually robs the people and the government which was given to them by the people. Now, Sirisena has also signed an official notification dismissing the 225-member assembly well ahead of its August 2020 term expiry late on Friday. Now, the surprise move comes amidst political instability in the island nation, which began two weeks ago when the president, Matripala Sirisena, had sacked Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe to appoint Mahinda Rajapakse to the post. Now, Vikramasinghe has refused to step down, calling the appointment of Rajapakse as a constitutional coup. All right, now for more on this, we are joined in by our correspondent Ashwin Hemathagama, who is joining us live from Colombo. Good morning to you, Ashwin. Now, this, of course, is a surprise move by Metropala Sirisena. A lot of people were, in fact, speculating whether the newly appointed Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapakshe had the numbers to actually see through a floor test, but it appears that the President is preempting that. Uh, good morning. Uh, well, uh, in an act that showed uh, political desperation after it became uh, evident that his party may not be able to show majority in the uh, House of Parliament, President Sirisena last night uh, dissolved the Parliament. Well, this was uh, expected throughout the day and a lot of rumors were spreaded, and but no real uh, confirmations were available until he dissolved the Parliament. Mm -hmm. So according to this Gazette notification, uh, the nomination period will be from 19th November to 26th November, and the general elections are scheduled to be on the 5th of January. Right. So, uh, prior to issuing this Gazette notification, it was announced that the Department of Government Press was also brought under the purview of uh, Ministry of Defense, which is also held under the President's portfolio. And President Sirisena, issuing another Gazette during uh, the week, uh, took police under his control as well. All right. Now, Ashwin, the question, of course, is, you know, a lot of people immediately after the sacking of Ranul Vikramasinghe said that Vikramasinghe could actually go to the Supreme Court to try and question the president's move. Now that the House has been dissolved, can we expect Ranul Vikramasinghe to approach the Supreme Court in Sri Lanka? Yes, exactly. Because having notified of the snap elections, the president's gazette notification and many other issues, the senior members of the United National Party, which is led by uh, pr former Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, mm -hmm. uh, met for an emergency meeting last night. And uh, they have uh, explored all possibilities. And according to political sources, they are also looking at uh, going for a legal battle so right. that uh, they could uh, sort this out at Supreme Court. They are looking at an intervention. And not only that, the Marxist uh, JVP uh, they have also uh, c criticized the dissolution as an unconstitutional move and have said the Elections Commissioner has the power to reject this order and seek the opinion from the Supreme Court. Okay, uh, an opinion of the Supreme Court is in fact being sought. Uh, but speaking speculatively, now, even if the snap polls are to be held on the 5th of January, how confident will be the Mahinda Rajapakshe camp of actually getting a majority on the floor of the House? Well, there's a doubt because uh, everything is now against uh, President uh, Maitripala Sirisena and his camp because they failed to go ahead and prove that they have the majority in the House of Parliament. So uh, according to analysts that uh, there is a big possibility that he may not receive the expected votes or maybe the majority in the parliament in the days to come. But uh, things are in a way that we will not know until the last moment because a lot of transactions are, you know, claimed to be taking place. All right. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Ashwin Hemathagama, for joining us from Colombo and getting us all of those inputs. Now, this, of course, will be a story that'll be, that we'll be tracking very, very closely as the political developments unfold in Sri Lanka.